it looks like we're finally here. We are at the island of the dolls. Deep in the canals of Xochimilco, there's a place called Isla de las Muñecas, where there are hundreds of abandoned dolls scattered across this lonely island. Today we set out to find it. We just arrived at Cochimilco, finally. So there are a bunch of different docks, but if you want to do the Doll Island one, then you're going to come to this one. Look at all the colors of these boats. Xochimilco is a borough south of Mexico City, mostly known for the colorful gondola-style boats called trajineras. Look at all these colorful boats. They're called trajineras. And we're gonna take one of these and try to get to Island of the Dolls. These wooden boats are hand-painted in bright colors and float along an intricate system of canals. These little floating restaurants. There's a festive atmosphere at Cochimilco, so it's good to bring some drink or buy some on the way from these little floating restaurants and bars. We have a huge crowd on our boat. <laughs> we have the boat all to ourselves. Look at this. There are about 20 seats on this boat and it's just us and our tequila and look this is our boat's name they put the name of the boat on the front like this and usually it's the name of a loved one but sometimes these days they use celebrity names and things like that but we have fernanda look at all the colors that's what makes this thing so appealing to tourists you look at all these colors on the boats and you just take these trajineras through these canals of Cochimuco. All right, so they're going this way and we're taking a detour. Maybe this is the way to Doll Island. All right, so one of the cool things that you're gonna see on the way on the boat rides are these floating gardens. They're considered floating gardens, which as you can see, they don't really look like they're floating but they kind of are because they're only really held together by the roots of trees. Welcome to Cochimilco. So supposedly there are at least two or three fake doll islands these days. So you have to watch out for that when you come to Cochimilco. You know that they're fake if you can see it right from the boat really easily. So over here, I just saw the first glimpses of dolls. We took our trajinera through a series of canals for about an hour and we didn't really see any other boats around. Then we found what we were looking for. This has been on my bucket list for so long, it looks like we're finally here. As you can see the bamboo right here, it means we are at the island of the dolls. All right, so it's 50 pesos per person, so 50 pesos, so 100 for both of us, which is what, $5? Yeah. So we're at the Island of the Dolls, 
and the story is that this man named Julian, he lived here and one day he found the body of a girl floating along this river. And after he found this girl, he also found a doll floating down the river, which he thought belonged to her. And so he hung up that doll, and then he started hearing voices, and he thought that he was haunted by these spirits, or the spirit of the girl. And so he started to hang all of these dolls. Whenever he could find them, he would hang these dolls all around his house, all around this island, to ward off the spirits. And that started in the 50s, so maybe 70 years ago he started doing this. And then for 50 years he continued hanging up these dolls everywhere. So here we found a little hut. We're just surrounded. Ah, look at this onesie clown doll. He lived alone on this island for 50 years collecting dolls that would come through the river and he dug through trash to try to find these dolls and all because he found this little girl. So he was just living here among all these dolls by himself. So supposedly this is the original cabin, the original place where he started the collection. So this is him. What do you think? It's uh, not creepy at all. It's very beautiful. It's a beautiful island. Perfect place to go if you want to party, hang out with a loved one, maybe spend Valentine's Day, have a romantic getaway. We're leaving the island of the dolls, sadly. What do you think? That was one of the most interesting things I've ever seen in my whole life. So we highly recommend that you come here. It is a once in a lifetime experience. Definitely memorable. <laughs> There's these little food boats that are riding alongside of us and we found one that has some fresh mango and cerveza so I'm gonna get some mango for sure. To keep this as close to the real experience as possible, I picked out some music that's similar to what they were playing on these boats.
huge michelada and this mango on a stick for around seven dollars. <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs> I put some chili powder on it and lime and he sliced it all cute into little petals. So if you don't bring food on this trip, don't be afraid. You can find food from these little restaurants and these little bars. Do not fear, there will be some people offering food and drink. It's like a big gulp. <laughs> Alright, our ride in Cochimilco is over. Oh, we're gonna hit a boat. I'm curious how many there are. Cuatro, cinco, seis, nueve, diez, veinte, siete, treinta, ocho, treinta, nueve, cuarenta, seis, If you want to learn Spanish, just watch this video. Nueve, ochenta, treinta, cuatro, noventa, cinco, cien, uno, cien, dos. Wait, 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 wait. Look, they keep going way over there. I don't know if we want to walk a mile and do this. Well, it's well over a hundred. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.